A tough life is, you know, as all startups, uh, we have gone through, we, our innovation cycle has been the first four years is coming up with the, the IP and patent it in a way that we can defend it so we can license that technology to other aerospace companies or auto manufacturers that can build these UAVs. There'll be millions of them. So that, that was a, a key component of our, of our, our genesis. Now that we're at that, that, that point, through the MIT, MIT ILP, as well as our other connections, our investors, we, we're in, the, in that area called beachhead sales. So beachhead sales is, is the next area. So we've now went with the Zawa Concrete. We've, we've come up with our first announced uh, uh, inspection surveillance uh, uh, case study. That will be for road and, and rail uh, and inspection. So that the, we have our first, we can't tell you about the you know, the, the logistics partner, but they are doing inter-island cargo transport in Japan. So a, a very, another exquisite case study. We're, we're in, with the MIT uh, ILP members, we've been covering a number of other use cases. Forestry, sustainability, uh, inspection of, of 2.5 million acres in, in Chile. Uh, so there's, a, there's there are endless new applications that all in some way relate to inspection surveillance cargo transport and a version of cargo transport spraying application. We've set the seeds in motion that with an, an additional investment, whether it's revenue or investment, we can actually branch out into a number of ways. And this is a robotic. It's not a, it's not a car and it's not an airplane. It's a, ro it's a robot. That, that robot gives us the ability of doing multiple things. People have approached us to do, take our hybrid engine and make it a generator for that anybody can use in their home. It generates 10 kilowatts is enough to power two homes. So there's numbers of, of things we can do. Uh, we can look, go into a business and do drone as a service. The, all the technology on that drone is going to get better and cheaper. As it gets better and cheaper, maybe we don't buy them, we lease them. You know, so if one wears out, you, we give you another one. These, big, these are all devices that do what we commonly call dull, dirty, and dangerous tasks. So, so as, they, as they do that, Ownership may not be the, the way of handling something. We kind of know autonomous cars and smart cars in cities are most likely not going to be owned by us as, as, individual, uh, as individuals, so why not drones to service? So I, I think there's a lot, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot will happen over the next two or three years. I guess uh, I'm just here to paint a picture of what the future could look like. Um, so we see autonomy and autonomous solution uh, as a very big market and autonomous solutions are solutions where uh, systems can operate independent of human operators right? and we see that in autonomous cars today right that's a very big market virtually every automotive company um, and non-automotive companies are getting into the autonomous car everything from cars to flying cars to autonomous transport systems um, so when we're looking at developing autonomous systems for the future um, we see big opportunities everywhere. Everywhere where you want to reduce the need for manual labor, manual operators, uh, things such as um, agriculture, food production, uh, automated transportation, maybe delivery of food and medical uh, services to your home, uh, to large scale uh, inspection, right? We have a lot of assets all around the world the world has become more and more populated every day. How do we manage that assets? And we don't have enough people to do all the work that we need done. So the only other way to solve it is with robots. And I think with robots, I think a concept that uh, we've been trying to get people to understand is they're really good for three types of work. Dull, dirty, and dangerous type of work. I think those are areas where we'd like to apply our autonomous technology and those are areas that is most beneficial to mankind.